Yeah, 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 guys, it's your boy Messiah back with another YouTube video. <laughs> what we're gonna be doing is a cute little Q and A. You know what I'm saying? And we're gonna be doing it while we're eating our. Food. You know what I'm saying? He has this nasty lemon pepper wings. Not so, so much. What are you eating? I got the honey barbecue wings. You think that's who? Who's touching lemon pepper? Let's be so for real. In the comment section below, tell me what you choose: honey, honey barbecue boo -boo wings or lemon pepper. Honey boo -boo wings. It's crazy. <laughs> because you can't lie out the gate. <laughs> we're gonna be smack. I'm gonna take the first bite. Should we just, just right here, one. Oh, I need to mm -hmm. my, my ranch. Right. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, come on now. Don't play. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Right. Right. Let me grab it real good. Uh, uh, no, honey barbecue. Buts. Right. Mm. Huh. Let me call. Question one. Ding! Ding! Period. Come on, sound effect. I don't know. You know what I mean? How was you guys' 2022 so far? Hmm. You want to go first or you want me to go? Oh, you go first. You go first. I'll go first. Oh. Okay. Um, you know, I'm going to range it obviously from January to now. Period. Obviously, because that's 2000. Because that's so far. <laughs> right. 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 Um, I would say. It's been it's been a journey. In all honesty, on a scale of one to ten, I give it a good eight. You know, I feel like I had a lot of opportunities and a lot of lessons to be learned, um, a lot of situations to go through, and a lot of people to come across. And you know, we here, we vibing. We, we you know, fuck it, we we ball, fuck it, we ball, yeah, yeah. Period. I feel like my twenty twenty two so far has been very. Grown. I've been on my grown shit this year, y'all. You mm. know what I mean? Like we moved in, we moved into our own apartment. Yeah. Early twenties. You moved in when you was nineteen. Like 19. Ain't, ain't that crazy? That's crazy. You really have your own apartment at nineteen. Let's be so for Let's think about it for a Okay. Little bit. And me at twenty one, not twenty two, I'm twenty two now, but like twenty one. And I don't know, just been doing big boy shit. And I feel like I think same thing. Learned a lot of life lessons. You know what I mean? I had. Cool, just such a big year. Um, right. You know, being a part of Renaissance, me and B, I, oof, it was like a really stressful time when we were moving in because around May ish was around the same time we were kind of finalizing the um, order of Renaissance. And it was kind of hard choosing between the 12 songs that I helped um, put together. Um, so just like trying to curate that project for you guys and on, on top of moving in. On top, on oh, some real shit, niggas was going through a lot this year, y'all. Like from top to bottom, uh, a lot of growth, a lot of life lessons. We were dealing with niggas that taught us a lot, taught us a lot about, about ourselves. Oh, sure. Um, we're not even going to detail about those people, <laughs> <laughs> but no, this year has been really good as far as just growing and, and becoming a better person. I feel like from January to now, like I'm two different people. I feel like. I've been on this track, but still, like, just so much growth has happened this last year, so. That's how my 2022 is coming so far. What was I about to say? It's been, it's been a journey. It's been it been definitely has, you know what I'm saying? We have grown a lot, you know what I'm saying? Emotionally, mentally, mm -hmm. and physically. So <laughs> that's getting to the body for real, you know what I don't want to sue my horn, but do the motherfucking do, okay? Yeah. I feel like 
I feel like, yeah, it has, yeah, it's him. I feel like he could, he brings in a lot of people, you know, um, just like even, I can't even keep counting. You know what I'm saying? Like, we've been here for like, what, three, four, five months, I think. And just to be so straight up with you guys, you know, because he, he's a very open-minded person. And I, I love that about him. You know what I'm saying? So, I just, I... <laughs> One thing about black folks, they gonna lie, okay? They gonna lie, they gonna steal, they gonna go to prison. <laughs> and that's what he's doing right now. This man, <laughs> not to be specific, but yeah, yeah, no. he, Talk has, shit. He, has, he has some visitors, you know what I mean? More than me. Again, it's not like an absurd amount. It's not like this man's having people over like every other day. But in comparison to me, I kid you not, maybe had like, me, I had like two people over, okay? This man's had, <laughs> we didn't think about the numbers. <laughs> but he's definitely had more business than I have. So, next question. <laughs> now, get this easy on the side like <laughs> Question three. Who knows each other the best? And they said, ask each other questions until you can. Until the question's wrong. So I'm asking ask you a question. I ask you a question. Get it right. You ask me a question. But it's a stressful. <laughs> <laughs> you, I get it right. Period. You know what I'm saying? And we go back and forth. Okay, that's not easy. Cause Any question? Okay, okay. I'm getting stressed. Okay. What's my favorite color? Oh fuck! Come on. <laughs> this should be like the timer. Uh, damn it! Hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna, listen. Okay, I, I get I get three guesses. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Three guesses. That's good. First one. Red. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna say that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was a little stress. That was good. That was good. Okay. Um. Hmm. How many dogs do I have? You have two. Period. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like this is like this is like right. this is right. easy questions. This is hard work. Okay. okay. You go next. Now it's gonna look like a little bit medium. Mm -hmm. What's my biggest pet peeve? When people like help themselves to your space, like when they come in, they get too comfortable. No, well, I'll give you a hint. I'll give you a hint. Okay. okay. Um, it, it regards. It regards. How can I say without getting in the way? Texting. I feel like texting. Expo texters. Close. Dry texters. Wrong! Damn it! <laughs> what is it? I feel like what it is, I hate when people text me or when I text people and they watch myself and don't respond. Ah, okay, yeah. okay, you yeah. right, you yeah. right. That's a good one. That's yeah. a good one. I talk my shit on that. Yeah, it's okay though. Okay, that was a good question. I like that. That was, that was a good question, yeah. yeah What's the highest thing y'all cherish in the friendship from each other? Hmm. I'll say, I'll say for me, with just how comfortable we are with like communicating and like telling each other about stuff. And I remember like when we first moved in together, even though like we told ourselves we told each other a lot, I feel there was still that like phase where we're still like trying to like get familiar with each mm -hmm. other and like feel out how much we could like talk to each other about. And like now like we talk to each other about like damn everything. Like, yeah. I promise you, shit happened two seconds ago. Best believe. <laughs> hey, hey, yeah. <laughs> Go red. Go red. No, we. I, one thing that I really cherish about our relationship is that we are very like honest and transparent with each other and very communicative. And yeah, I really got a lot in any relationship that I have, especially ours. No. So I appreciate that a lot. Question five. <laughs> Bing! Okay, sorry. What's the question? What? <laughs> What's your type? And talk your shit. I no, for real. Let's do something. <laughs> like, talk your um, shit. Um. So I'll say, physically, I don't want to put myself in a box. Okay, because I really, I really don't have a type. Race from it, but I really, I really don't have a type. Like, there's no one that I'm like. I only talk to this demographic. But one thing about me and a Hispanic man, <laughs> we like this for real. <laughs> and and I, I'm just saying that because I'm 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 keeping patterns in men that I talk to, and right. a large percentage of men that I talk to have been Hispanic. Where the people that I found the most attractive have been Hispanic. So I'll say that. But with that being said, don't have a type. Cause like, I think any any combination of anything can be attractive. You just gotta yeah. do it right. You know what I mean? That's true. But That's one true. thing I will not hold on is a nice set of lips. If you got sandpaper, cracks, thin construction paper ass lips, sorry, but we can't go together. You know what I mean? If it's not moisturized, if my face gets scratched up every single time you want to kiss me, we can't go together. 
So I thought those were my, my biggest criteria or requirements, at least for my type. What about you? I feel like I'm just so focused on the Lord. You know, I feel like I don't really, I don't really pay attention. I don't really pay attention to types. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm just a man of God. You know, I'm, I'm very, I'm really true to God. You know, my name being Messiah, you know, and all this stuff. So I have to really own it for my life. Yeah. Let me know when you better be serious. Let me know when you better tell the truth. Okay. <laughs> Laugh and look very serious. LBVS. LBVS. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Without being so transparent, I like me a hood nigga. Mm -hmm. Even though some of the people that I may come across might not be, um, yeah, um, <laughs> what? Um, just might not be like top tier. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, first option. But I feel like I like that. But I definitely pay the price for it. And that's okay. That's okay. Because we're learning. You live and you learn. We're elevating. You Yeah. You heard that? Yeah. Okay. You A, you A. And I feel like they may not be the best choice. Um, but fuck we fall. I feel like I'm really big on eye contact. Mm. I feel like that's the first thing I probably pay attention to when it comes to like maybe emotion, not emotionally, but like how you act or how you perceive yourself. Like if you don't lock eye contact or you can't, you shift eye contact away from me while we're talking. I feel like that's just, that's a red flag for me. You know what I mean? I feel like with a girl wise, I love, let's <laughs> <laughs> think about what we're about to say. <laughs> oh. I love, I love me somebody elegant. You know what I'm saying? I love, I love, I love somebody You know what I'm saying? The drive. I just, I feel like maybe with girls wise, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I probably have a type with just like black women. You know what I'm saying? Period. Specifically. Ooh. Like specifically. Love a black woman yeah. from infinity to infinity. Yeah. But yeah, that's my type. Yeah. And a big circle. And her name is. <laughs> <laughs> What's your most recent sex story? Oh. <laughs> um, do you want to go first? Because we're both going to have it. <laughs> so is it me first or you? So you can take this one or I'll take it. Oh, um, I'll take it. Go ahead. Um, um, it was after an event. An event. Mm -hmm. An event. Right right right, 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 right. And I remember I text Isaiah and I was like, hey. <laughs> I was like, hey. Um. I'm going to go with somebody. Clothes all over the floor. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was because we were about to go to California. Yeah. 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 We, were, we were supposed to go to California. And the next day. The next day. So this is the night before. And clothes was everywhere. Luggage was thrown in the closet. And I was like five minutes away. Yeah. Like maybe five, maybe like five to eight minutes away. Right, right, right. right, right. Best believe I was in his room in his bathroom We came back here, you know what I'm saying? I walked in my room, you know what I'm saying? I was like, you know, and I feel like you, when, when you think about it, you're like, ooh, I hope everyone's clean, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, yeah. I was like, yeah. welcome to my car. Right, he knew it was gonna be straight. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Decked it out. <laughs> yeah, you didn't even get to the actual <laughs> activity yet. <laughs> we started watching on Love and Basketball. Right, right. Not actually watching it, you know, we put it on. Yeah, right. Um, but we actually was watching it at first, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was it was a good movie. Like, it was kicking For like five minutes. For like, maybe like five, ten minutes, five minutes. <laughs> um, and I went to work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got a job? Oh. <laughs> I forgot what story you were saying. <laughs> if I had to rate it on like a scale of one ten, gotta be a nine. Gotta be a nine. That's an A. If you watching, But very serious. <laughs> so that was that was my most recent sex story. Okay. Yeah. I think my not I think I know my most recent one was very anticlimactic. Um, mm -hmm. It was his last week. Nothing too exciting. 
I went to go see my mom back in um, Charlotte. And I have a little sneaky link out there. So I had been there for like a day and I had posted on my story that I was in town. Didn't hit nobody up specifically because I went to go see my mom. But he had snapped me. He was like, oh, like, wow, like, he didn't tell nobody that she was in town. I said, no. <laughs> but I was like, but my bad stink. Like, yeah, I'm in town, da, 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 da. So we keep a snap throughout the day, you know, obviously talking about, you know, what we were trying to get up to. So he ended up coming over and we were just kicking, you know, talking for a little bit, drinking. And at first, I used to be the type when I hooked up with people, like I didn't, I never wanted anyone to like feel like there was just a sneaky link. Like I never wanted to like be a, a hit it and quit it type situation. Like, all right, where you about to go after this? Never been that type. So I'm always big on my, you know, we keep, keep talking a little bit beforehand, do our business afterward, we still talk a little bit. Right. But this time a nigga was tired. Okay, a nigga was tired. I had alcohol in my system. I wanted to go to bed. Do you understand me? So, so he was kicking at first. We was drinking a little bit. You know what I mean? Bada bing, bada boom. Led to the, you know, things and stuff and such and things. Right. And afterwards, again, I hate being this person. I never want to be like a, so, so what you about to do after this? I'm not that type. Okay? But that's how I felt internally. <laughs> So when we was done, I was kicking, I was like, oh, okay, like, oh, woo, 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 da, 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 Not being able to ask him, like, oh, like, so you want to go home, or... And he wanted to cuddle a little bit afterwards, and I was like... <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we ended up on the together. Wake up at, like, 2.40, 2.45, and I'm getting up. So go to the bathroom. He grabbed me, pulled me back down. I said, girl. <laughs> <laughs> so he's about there, right? And he was like, oh, like, what time is it? I was like, oh, it's 2.45 in the morning. He was like, oh, it's 2.45? I didn't know it was that late. I was like, girl, you pulled me in the bed, trying to cut along it. Then you supposed to stay. You know what I mean? So I was like, yeah, it's 2.45. Mm -hmm. Right. You should probably go home. <laughs> <laughs> he was already in like a panic, kind of like, oh, like I need to go home type of mood. So I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll come help you. Gave him his pants and everything like that. And then he left. But the actual act was real cute and quirky. Focus. I had I had an objective. Once I completed it, I was kind of wanting it to be done with. But he wanted to stay a little longer. So, how long have you been friends? And what's one thing you don't like about each other? Ooh, this is a lot of fun. This is. We have been friends since 2020. Honestly, I kind of like. Was it? Yeah, it was. 2020. It was 2020. Okay. The only reason why we even know who each other are or is is because everyone kept saying we looked alike. And it did not help that we were both dark skinned, with waves, a little skinny, a smile, but a, but a cute little smile. You know what I mean? So that's the only reason. And then I feel like after that we started FaceTiming, and we was kicking. We had a lot of like energy, real charismatic, real animated. I said, oh, this nigga just like me for real. But that doesn't help because everyone thinks we're the same person. Uh -huh. And then you want to grow your hair out after I started growing my hair out. And he started growing his hair. Right. Not I started mine. I started mine, and then he started growing out his. So just so we know, we have at we this have point. Evidence. You ain't got a lot of the people. Check the footage, okay? The scroll back to his pudding. page. For the proof is in the pudding. Scroll back my page. Scroll back his page. You'll see who's going in here out first. What's one thing you don't like? Y'all don't like about each other? I'm really, I'm really curious to see what you have to say. Um, I'm really curious. I want to know because I feel like we've never like I've never that that before. Yeah. we've never like got into that ever. So it's just like I'm so curious. Like if you had to say something. If you gotta say anything, don't like about me. That's what I don't like about him is that he put dishes in like inside the dishwasher and he just put it with like a bunch of food on it. And I just <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and stop here right there. I so I just hate to off. I just hate to take off my fork or out the dishwasher or something and it's filled with like noodles or like sprinkles from the last food that was just served. Do you know I've never ate nothing with sprinkles in the last five months? And especially not well, I've eaten some spaghetti. But <laughs> listen, I rinse all my plates off, all my bowls off, all my Tupperware, all my silverware. You can't do that. It, you know, let me just take kind of <laughs> Maybe every once in a blue moon, I might not rinse it off completely. But I, one thing about me, I would rinse my stuff. You see me rinse it off in a sink. No, I do. No, no, no. Now you do. No, you need no, I've been doing it. <laughs> okay, but every now and again, I might not get every little grain of saw off the plate. <laughs> Not too much for me. <laughs> but I say like something that does bother me sometimes is that you be real impulsive. So you be so you be acting whenever you feel like it in that moment. And I'm like, girl, if we just take a second, <laughs> breathe, okay? 
Let me straight. You know what I'm saying? So again, like nothing I don't like about him, but certain things that be bothering me, it's like he be he be. You know what I mean? And I'm not. Just think of it. You know what I mean? And I and, and it and it really like it rarely ever affects me. So that's what I'm saying. Like it's nothing I don't like. But I just see it. Like sometimes how it affects you. Because no, you'll no. you'll come back and you'll be like, oh like I, I wish I, I didn't I did this. X, Y, and Z. I'd be like, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> If you didn't do X, Y, and Z in the moment, <laughs> then we would not have this problem. <laughs> it's funny because I feel like we always, like our relationship, he's like, if we were twitches, right? You would be the sun, I'd be the moon, you know what I mean? Heavy on that. Real, and even though we're both like very like, animated, bubbly people, like he's definitely like bright eyed, bushy tail type, and I'm more of oh. like, you know what I mean? Night owl, like real, like more reserved, more mm -hmm. reserved. I'm not that reserved, but in comparison, I feel like I'm the one that kind of like is like more like grounded, more like, I don't know. Ugh, those are some cute questions. Those are cute quirky. I like them questions. Those are real cute and quirky. Those are some really noise questions. I love we both trying to pluck out <laughs> me and this bonnet. <laughs> Holly Berry, I want to thank Whitney Houston for being there as, as, as a collective, you know what I'm saying? You know, giving me the, the history and the legacy that I live on to today. You know, Drake being my father and Nicki Minaj being my sister is so much on me, you know? So, hold on, that's a little weird. Because Nicki and Drake, <laughs> being father and daughter. <laughs> that wraps up today's video. Make sure you guys click ill. Right. And that wraps up today's video. Make sure you guys smash that like Dude. button. And make sure you guys subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can see when I post. Like that. And this is Messiah. This must be a Carly scene. And this is Isaiah. And we're out.